first, best, live, from Wood TV 8, Susan Shaw, Larry Neenhouse, meteorologist Craig James, Warren Reynolds, and Target 8 consumer investigator Christine Rohr. Good evening, and welcome to Cracked Action News, where stories will always involve molesting. After the break, we'll be discussing which pet shampoos could be molesting your kids. But right now, we're going to Clip Takamura for the latest on that molested beaver. Clip? <laughs> Clip, you are a card. If you're wondering why our banter seems so warm and natural this episode, it's because today's topic is... Eight local news segments gone horribly wrong. Each of these clips has a valuable lesson to teach would-be journalists. Lessons like, if you don't have the reflexes to avoid objects hurtling towards you, at least learn to do a wicked mid-air front flip when they hit. It looks like Ruben is in the lead, and here comes no, out. No. This... <laughs> you think that shit just happens? Two summers at the Cirque du Soleil acrobatics and journalism camp. Still not impressed? Check the recovery. Look. That was a bad idea. At Riverside Park, Rob left. Are you seriously trying to pass off the fact that you just flew through the air during a report? I'm not sure those snow pants are roomy enough for your massive balls. Global news. Yes, my prince, sleep. You earned it. <laughs> of course, we can't all be masters of recovery. Some of us, like Isaiah Carey, must draw strength from our roots. What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death? The fuck is that? Shit flying in my mouth. The fuck? I can't see Paula. Let's get the fuck out of this country, motherfucker. Damn, he went black faster than I did in federal prison. Kerry's range is amazing. He can do stereotypical white guy. We attempted to reach the mayor several times, but our calls and our visits to her house... Stereotypical black guy. Um, you know, bitch wasn't that. He can even do a stereotypical black guy imitating a stereotypical white guy. I don't want to talk. Come on, I'm from New Jersey. Come I don't want to talk. Wow, you're like the Chris Rock of local journalists. Like... Black reporters be all. I ain't got no prompter. And white reporters be all. I don't have a prompter. In the interest of fairness, I will now show a clip of a white reporter suddenly spewing expletives. Your complete forecast, all today's news, straight ahead in the Fox Live at News. Fucking mother whore. Shit! I'm no doctor, but I think it's fairly apparent that this man has Tourette syndrome. Did that not come up in the interview? So, what would you say is your greatest strength as a meteorologist? Well,. If I had to pick one quality, I'd shit in a bucket and fuck the... Well, you know, that or my smile. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, wow. <laughs> There's a law of nature that states that pointing a camera at a large group of people and broadcasting the footage live attracts douchebags like a yeasty vagina convention. And like classic literature, such interferences can be put into four basic categories. Man versus man. <laughs> Woman versus man. Now another advantage of this ID system is that the lines are very, very short. Same man from before versus English version of the Hamburglar. And of course, man versus self. We've taken the 360, we've added a DSP, and then we... Self, bad burrito, whatever. <laughs> Grumpy old men. Local news story about housing development. Go. I've got to go now. I want to okay. thank you both. Thank, thank you. you. All right, it's back to you, Jim. Holly, uh, don't let her go away. This, uh, that, that's, uh, that's She's back if you want her. Yes. She heard you. Yes. What would you like to know? I would like to know a response to what the gentleman said. Right. So what do you want now? Well, if I have to teach you how to be a reporter, Ollie, I'll do that later. Oh, why don't you do that later, Jim? This is like watching Henry Kissinger and Sam the Eagle go at it. Right. Is there any question you'd like me to ask her? And no, I, I, I'll, I'll give you lessons on how to become a reporter later no, I'll on. give you some lessons on how to be an editor, because I was your boss once. Yeah, you were, and are no longer. How did that happen? Flawless victory. I wish news was always this entertaining. Breaking news, Wayne Largus is a total douche. With more on that story, we go live to Wayne Largus in the field. Wayne? Uh, well, Larry, uh, the story we're getting out here is that you can suck my balls. Back to you, Cockweasel. And for our viewers at home, that's not a satellite delay. Wayne's just retarded. This just in, but It's a sad fact. Some people just aren't cut out for the high-stakes world of local sports reporting. And all those people had a baby, and this is him. Hello, everyone. Well, the Ball State softball team continued to play this weekend, and but the Ball State women's, women's team shot down and ended up doing poorly. Oh, no. 
He's mastered every possible way to fail at reading the news. Stuttering? It seems last week player on... It seems every week they have a player... Ten second silences? Tomorrow's game will be the meeting between the two, beating both... First... <sighs> he even sets up his own bits. Let's check out the highlights. Oh yes, let's do that. Later he gets the rebound, passes it to the man, shoots it, and boom goes the dynamite. Okay, well, you tried. Yeah. For an afternoon news team, it's important to make gestures that reach out to the community. And it's time for birthdays, let's take a look right now. However, you should be aware that as an afternoon news team, your audience is primarily unemployed stoners. Dixie Marmos, happy 48th birthday to you. Anita Lay, happy birthday to my sweet little girl, Anita Mike Hunt. <laughs> Lena Jensen. Oh, wow. Is being high contagious? Donna and Harry Mo Lester, uh, Aster <laughs> and Emma Royds. <laughs> Amy and Willie B. Hardigan, and then a Martha, or a Huge and Martha, Hugh and Mar... Well, that's it for this episode. Any updates on that beaver clip? <laughs> wow. Sobering stuff. Remember, if you'd like to help me pick next week's topic, just look into a mirror and say my name five times. Then email me. I've been your host, Droid Michael Swaim. Allow me to play you out. <laughs> After the break, we're going to interview Eric Wyhenmayer, who climbed the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. But he's gay. I mean, he's gay. Excuse me, he's blind.